Other fans, it's me again. You there? Yep. Yeah. The dude from Wacky Stuff. I'm going to do another resin table. So I thought I'd go through the whole of the um, the process. Okay. So first thing you got to do is prepare. Very very important. So here we go preparing. So we've got to mix our main resin in this one, and then I'm going to have various colours. So I'm going to put resin in the cups with the pink, the green, and the yellow, and the bronze, and the blue, and the orange, and the blue, and black and grey. And that's the resin there. And also I've got some isopropyl alcohol. There it is. It's got gold in it, and that makes an effect. It's fantastic. Anyway, anyway there you go. Right, so what have we got? What are we going to do today? We are going to do this. And it is the Crab Nebula. Got that? Crab Nebula tabletop. So the Crab Nebula's got stars in it. So here we go. We have um, we covered the table, there it is, in black paint. And there's the stars, the little stars, which is white paint flipped on there. So we're ready for the background, and now we're going to do the, the clouds and the nebula. Alright, here we go. Oh yeah, by the way, you need your hair dryer to move stuff around and you need your burner. And you need the burner so you can burn all the bubbles off to stop the air coming up and screwing the thing up, alright? So, this is going to be a Crab Nebula tabletop and it's going to be unbelievable. Okay dudes, here we go. So the first layer is clear resin over the top, then we're going to make clouds over the top of it. So here we go. And we pour it into the middle. And then we're going to spread it out with the spreader. So the table, by the way, it's levelled off with the spirit level. So you do it in the middle so it doesn't all go off the end together. So you get a nice even spread across the table. Theory, you chop it to get rid of any marks with with the trowel, but um, I'm not going to bother with that because I've got a brush basically. Oh, I have one. Yes, I have. Right, we chop it. Right. So you chop it so that you don't get trowel marks all over it. That's the logic of chopping. So that's how you chop. You get a nice even coat of resin all over. And because we've got the resin on it already, we're going to get some nice cloud effects. So white is going to go on first. Cloud effect of white going across.
Right. Now we've got colour. Isopropyl spray. Let me give it a bit of bit of texture.
coat. Now you've got to work, got to work the edges, rub the edges, so you don't get drips like that. All right. There we go. And we're going to do a bit more. We're going to torch it. I think we give it a torch. Here's your torch. Here's the torch to get rid of the bubbles. I think we're just about there. I think we'll leave it at that and we'll see how it dries. Maybe another coat. <laughs>